What's up guys? It's Eric. We're back at the Tide at Iguana and I'm going to show you some of the fish we got in today. So we got in some more Bosmanis again. I know I showed them to you last week, but we got more in again this week because they've been coming in amazingly well. So if you like Bosmanis, these guys are coming in awesome. Moving on then, uh, we did get a nice new group of female betas. Oh, I got some really nice koi angels. They're just, yeah, koi's are really awesome. I mean, they're a pretty popular guy. They have awesome color. We have in some Hillstream loaches. Also got in a um, Half Moon White Butterfly beta. I haven't really gotten in any crazy betas lately, except a couple this week. And speaking of this week, since it is almost 4th of July, I have to show off this guy. And he looks phenomenal. Super cool, looks like fireworks, red, white, blue. He's just awesome. So yeah, definitely, definitely a cool guy right there. I almost took him home, decided not to, but I almost did. So super cool. We were able to get in a few of the blue glowfish sharks. My favorite one for sure. Some more daisy rice fish, the daisy blue rice fish, which I also may have gotten some for myself as well because I like them a lot. Some more sparkling gouramis. I love sparkling gouramis. They're super cool. I might end up getting some of those as well. I don't know yet. We'll see. Some more, a few more cherry barbs came in this week going to just kind of boost those guys up. Cherry barbs, the more you have, the better they look. So definitely need to keep some more of those guys. A few more heteromorphas or the Harlequin Razabaras, another one of my favorite fish. They're just cool, get a good size, great color. We got in a few red miners or so serpe tetras, whichever way you want to call them, and a nice new group of golden white clouds. All right, over here, we got a nice new stock on the white skirt tetras. Got in a bunch of glow light tetras and a really nice group of rummy nose tetras. Rummy nose are definitely awesome. I don't know, there's something simple and awesome about them that I love. So, and then last, oh, not last, a new saddled biter came in. And then last, we got in another rocket gar. Obviously not like a true gar, but super cool little dudes that are really cool to have and they're not going to get as big as some of your massive gar so you can definitely keep them in a smaller tank but not a small tank if that makes sense so they still do get about a foot so nothing crazy but you're not talking like a three foot gar by any means so come on in guys check them out see what we got and leave with something